Sometimes you need to adjust just a little piece of your audio in Studio One, and so maybe it's a breath or a punch in that you did or a phrase that you just want a little louder or a little quieter. We're gonna take a look at that in this quick tip for Studio One. Hi, Don Barnes here, Red Barnes Audio, S1Jumpstart.com. So sometimes you just wanna adjust something quick, here's the way to do it. First thing you need to do is make an event. An event just drag across something and you can double click in the upper half and that's the shortcut for giving you an event. Then drag down, turns it down. Drag up, turns it up. Couple more tips. Sometimes you want more than one. You wanna do it all at once? Drag across, add the shift key, drag over here. Now you have two areas selected. Those are known as two ranges. Double click in the top half, splits them both. You can grab the drag handle at the top and then just drag it down quieter, drag it up louder. Now this is especially handy if you do a punch in later and you just have a little section that you recorded. That recording is going to be in its own event by default. You can grab the drag handle, drag it up or down and a couple little bonuses on that. This is the selected event. So it has its own little drag handle. Of course, I can hold down shift and take both of these and now I can uh, drag them up and down and they'll stay in sync. They're gonna move up by the same amount both times. You could do two of those or 20 of those, add the shift key. But sometimes this event right here is not selected. Now I selected it. Now this event is selected. Now this event is selected. But even if an event is not selected, Studio One allows you to go up right to the top to this line, gives you the good finger, and you can drag it down all by itself. You can drag it down, you can do individual ones, even right at the top of here, this line here, at the top of the track, this line is a drag handle. Well, it's not really a drag handle. It's a draggable area, and they give you the good finger. They give you some visual feedback so that you know. So there's many ways to do this. Also note, sometimes you want to split some events. Let me go ahead and undo all this stuff real quick. You have an event here, and you want to split it in half. I'm going to change the color, because I think when the color is changed and darker, then it's easier to see where my cursor is. If you wanted to split this right here, a simple double click will split that into a set of events. This one, this scene was already there. I'm going to undo that. That scene was already there. If I click on this, you'll see that we had one big event. We double click. Now we have two events. So now I could take either half, drag it up or down indiv individually. We can go over here. It is not active. We still can drag it up or down. So that's the quick way. You may have a little breath. You may have a punch in. You may have something else that just came out too loud, too quiet, and you want to go ahead, drag over it, double click, drag it down, makes it easy. There's a whole other way of doing it if you have Studio One 5 that, that I'm excited about, and I'll share that in another quick tip. So be sure to give this a thumbs up if it's helpful. It helped me greatly with the channel. Of course, you can subscribe. You know, check out our Facebook group if you're not in that already. Those are all down in the description. And of course, as always, I look forward to seeing you on the wires. Bye-bye.